What up guys, this is MA Fish Guy. Uh, this actually, this video has uh, been in the making for quite a while. Uh, it's a top five fish to breed in a uh, community aquarium. It was a request um, from Funny Makes Life Sunny. Uh, he's a subscriber of mine and had a couple questions on what some of the top five fish were to breed in an aquarium. Uh, I've come up with a list. It's a little difficult because the uh, definition of a community tank can be different to everybody. Uh, you could have your regular tropical fish, um, like your mollies, platies, guppies, anything like that. You're non-aggressive. You could have your semi-aggressive and your fully aggressive, which would be the cichlids. So it all depends on what you're looking at. Um, I didn't do the uh, non-aggressive uh, because some of your top ones to breed would be your cory catfish, uh, your platies, mollies, guppies, sortails. Uh, I do have some videos on how to breed those, and there will, will be more coming in the future. Um, but I did come up with a list of the top five that I thought were a little challenging but can also breed in an aquarium uh, with kind of all different setups. Um, so the first would be your ram cichlids. This could be your German blues. I'll just use an example. Uh, I have a pair in my aquarium right now that are starting to choose a spawn site. Uh, they usually do it on leaves, sometimes in caves. It all depends on the species that you get. Um, I won't be going into depth on how to breed any of these guys. I will be doing separate videos on how to breed them. Uh, if I do go into depth, this video will take quite a while. Uh, the second would be tiger barbs. These guys are a great schooling fish. Um, some people consider them non-aggressive, but they are semi-aggressive fish because they do nip fins. Uh, these guys usually breed in spawning mops or uh, large dense plants, any of your java moss, anything like that. Um, the second is a non-aggressive. This is the one of them that I will do that is non-aggressive, the Zebra Danio. Uh, these guys require a lighting pattern to breed, uh, usually like 10 hours of light and then 14 hours a night. Um, and you do want like a breeding net um, or like a, a breeding mop, um, java moss, any kind of uh, thick plant, you know, plants that they can breed in. Um, fourth would be the Crib Cichlid. Uh, these guys are the non-aggressive cichlid species, um, but they will destroy any non-aggressive uh, tropical fish. Um, these guys will pair off uh, and usually breed inside of a cave on a rock. Um, it all depends. Uh, most of mine breed inside the caves. And your fifth but not last would be the angelfish. These guys pick slates of rocks. Um, to breed on, uh, you can do it with an acrylic slab, you can do it with a broken clay pot, um, but they do breed, they pair off usually for life. Um, these guys will you know, pair off and breed. Uh, they are a little bit more difficult to breed, but once you get the male and female down and they start, they pretty much don't stop, which is a nice part. Um, so like I said, there will be more videos coming in the future on how to specifically breed these. Uh, fish and like I said the top five would be your ram cichlids, tiger barbs, zebra danios, the crib cichlid, and your angel fish. Um, if you want to add more comments down below to what you think should be you know on this list, um, like I said this is just my personal list. Uh, like I said I you know went into this for six seven hours determining what would be the best fish to breed uh, in the tropical or even a group setting. Uh, and this is what I came up with. Like I said, I didn't want to go with the mollies, platies, swordtails, guppies, because everybody can breed those. Um, every 30 days they give birth, all you, do, all you need is a male and female. Uh, my next video will be on how to breed mollies. Uh, that was another viewer request I'll be working on. Uh, so if you have any questions, concerns, leave them in the comments. Uh, go to my website, mafishguide.blogspot.com. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I want to hear from you. Thanks.